This is going to be the most basic and simple guitar lesson for a beginner that you've ever seen. We're going to take some of the uh, beginner chords that uh, most people start off with, uh, E minor and E minor as an example, and we're going to simplify them further for you. Okay, So basically uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take one finger and place it on the fifth string. So I'm taking this finger here, placing it on the fifth string on the second fret. Okay, so the spacing between these separators, these metal bars, is called a fret. So first fret, second, third, fourth, etc. The strings, one, two, three, four, five, six, six strings, starting to count from the bottom. You will place that one finger on the fifth string, second fret, right where you see it. And then with the other hand that's free, you can strum just downwards all the strings. I'm using a pick, you can use your finger, different ways you can do it. And then afterwards we're going to move the same finger, same fret, but the fourth string and strum that as well and then we can go back and forth now it's going to take a bit of practice how much pressure you need occasionally it might hurt a little bit take a break if it does you need to develop a callus on your finger that will take time you may have to practice this, who knows, hours, days, weeks. It, it varies person to person. Take your time, don't give up. Once you get it, it's for life. You've got it permanently. Next step. For strumming, we can strum more than one time. We're going to count up to four. One, two, three. Change to the fourth string. One, two, three, four. Back to the fifth string. One, two, three, four. Once again, you can use your fingers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Counting to four. Sometimes counting to three is very common in music. There's other ways of counting as well, but that's probably the one you want to focus on right now. A little comment in terms of holding the pick. In case you're not familiar with it, you may be. Just place it on your index finger like that. Uh, you can hold it, the tips of your fingers as you place it. Keep a little space at the tip to contact the strings. You put it on your forefinger, clamp down with your thumb, and you're good to go. Next step. Again, you may practice for a week just with that one finger on one string. Next, next step will be to put two fingers on two adjacent strings. So again, the fifth string, second fret, with the same finger as before. And then add the next finger on the fourth string. Same fret. Once again, always try and play near this side of the fret. If you play up this way, it's going to cause buzzing. All right, so once again, always play at this end of the uh, fret and not this end to avoid buzzing. So I will strum again. One, two, three, four and then move the same two fingers down one string so the fourth and third string one two three four one two three four one two three four next step progress with the strumming once you've practiced that, get the, 
getting enough pressure with the two fingers and getting some experience moving fingers from string to string. You can work on the strumming a little bit and you'll get, you'll count it this way. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Once again, one stop for this segment.